morning from my very magical forest. It's where I walk my dog almost every day, Raji. He's in the background. Hopefully he doesn't <laughs> come too close to the practice, but try to uh, focus on the practice more than what's happening behind me with the little doggy. Um, let's start our flow. Let's come towards the front of your mat. Take your feet nice and close together. Spread out your toes and ground through the four corners of each foot. Get a nice grounding and really focus in on your breath. Make sure you can hear your breathing. Breathing through the nose with long, even inhales and exhales. Start to stoke that fire, that fire of purification that's gonna burn off all of our impurities and our fears and our doubts and our weaknesses. Strong breath through this practice. Inhale, sweep the hands high, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold, draw the belly in as you reach for the earth. Step your right foot back as you inhale, find a lunge. And then exhale, right back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right foot high into the air. And then exhale in, right between your thumbs, find that same lunge. Step the feet together as you inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, fold, relaxing the back and the neck. Inhale, rise up, sweep the hands high. And exhale. Inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, drawing in the belly. Left foot back this time. Inhale, find a lunge. Lift your heart, look forward. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step forward, lunge position. Inhale, feet together, flat back. Right foot back again, inhale, lunge position. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, float into plank this time. Exhale, lower halfway to your chaturanga position. Inhale, through upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot high. Exhale, step into lunge. Inhale, feet together and flat back. Exhale, head down. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive to Uttanasana. Left foot back. Inhale, lunge position. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, come back to plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Keep the navel lifted. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward for lunge. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold your body into your legs. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, fold to the earth. Inhale, the right leg back to lunge. Make it nice and long. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, float into plank. Exhale, strong chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step this time into warrior one, dropping your back heel. Inhale, rise up. Then exhale, open your arms, your chest, your shoulders. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, hands to the ground, step right into chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg again. Inhale it up. Lunge between the hands. Exhale. Inhale, step together. Lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. All the way up with your inhale. And exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Left foot back. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, open heart, belly tight. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step into warrior one, drop your right heel. Inhale, rise. Exhale, open heart. 
Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, spill down like a waterfall. Inhale, rise. And exhale. Let's open the feet to hip distance. Inhale, hold the waist. Exhale, reach for your big toes. Catch if you can. Inhale, look up, lengthen, and tip your weight into your toes. Exhale, pull. Push down your toes. Pull up your fingers and draw your chest towards your knees. Release the head and the neck. Slide the shoulders towards the hips. your right arm up around your right thigh, your left arm behind the back. See if you can bind. You can just stay down here and work on the bind or enjoy the bind. Or if that feels pretty comfortable, start standing up. Hop onto your left foot and bring the right leg with you. Okay, if that feels good, you could straighten the right leg with Bird of Paradise or just leave it hanging if that's too much for your hamstring. Take a few breaths. Softly down if you were up. Release the arms. Inhale, just lengthen it out. And then exhale, bend the knees. Dive your left arm through. Left arm up around the left side. Right hand behind the back. Maybe catch. Maybe just work on getting closer to catching. If you feel like it, come on up slowly. Transfer all the weight into the right leg. Standing up tall. Perhaps extending left leg. three-legged dog and look forward keeping the foot high exhale into your chaturanga inhale drop the foot point the toes upward dog exhale downward dog inhale left leg up high open your hips bend your knee create that openness but also feel stability and centeredness in the hips the bottom ankle the arms and the shoulders Inhale the toes up, exhale step into your peaceful warrior, drop the back heel, inhale windmill that left arm right up high, strong left leg, strong core, the right arm's in front. Inhale bring it through the center, 
parallel and then exhale to the back of the mat, right side, peaceful. Inhale, bring it through the center and then exhale, front of the mat, left side, peaceful. the hands down, left leg high, inhale, three-legged, look forward, exhale, slowly chin towards the mat, chaturanga. Inhale, pointed toes, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Let's do that a little bit faster. Inhale, the right leg up, exhale, step forward. Inhale, right into your peaceful warrior, right leg, and then exhale through the center. Inhale, back of the mat, peaceful warrior, left leg, exhale through the center. Inhale, front of mat, Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left foot high. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, peaceful warrior, left side. Exhale, through the center. Inhale, back of the mat, right side. Exhale, center. Inhale, front of the mat. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's keep going. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, through center. Inhale, back of the mat. Exhale, center. Inhale, front of the mat. This time, just exhale into warrior two. Sink down into the legs. Find some openness and strength. Breathe your right hand or out beyond the fingers. Belly button in and the low back nice and long. Make sure that right knee stays right on top of the right ankle. And then windmill the hands down. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step. Inhale, left side peaceful. Exhale through center. Inhale, right side. Exhale, center. Inhale, front of the mat. Warrior two as you exhale, and then settle into the posture and breathe. Make sure you can still hear that soft, subtle sound of your breath coming from deep inside the throat. center. Inhale, back of the mat. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, half moon, bring the right fingertips down, float the left leg up, find your balance, use a brick under the hand if you need to, and try to look up. Externally rotate the legs here so that that left knee and your left toes are trying to point up to the sky. Take a soft landing back to warrior two, and then windmill the hands down. Inhale, three legs. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step. Inhale, peaceful. straighten your knee for Trikonasana. Inhale, reach over the right foot. Exhale the hand down to wherever it feels good for you. The shin, the ankle, or the ground. Gaze up. Look down. Use your inhale to rise. Exhale, create warrior two. Hands to the ground. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, peace forward. Hold the waist, look up. Exhale, reach for the ground. Inhale, look up and lengthen. And then exhale all the way down, drop your head. You can stay here or you could lift up into a tripod headstand if that suits you. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, here, strong core. Hands to the waist. Inhale, come up. Just exhale. Right toes forward. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step. Inhale, peace. Exhale. center. Inhale, clasp the hands, lift the heart, and then exhale all the way over. Press your hands away, stretch your shoulders, your heart, your chest. Just breathe. Next, inhale all the way up. Exhale, that was a three-legged dog, chaturanga. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Stay here. Enjoy the downward dog. Pedal out the feet if you wish. Breathe. Sing if you need to. Child pose is your friend. Deep bend in the knees. Look forward at the hands. Inhale, walk or jump. Take a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, sit into chair pose with Katasana. On your exhale, twist to the right. Hook your left elbow across the knee. Bring your hands to your heart. Look up. You can stay here if you want. You might drop down onto your palms just for fun. Lift up the legs, balancing on your arms. Parjvavakasana, the side crow. Breathing wherever you're working. Find the center again. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, twist to your left. Right elbow across. Stay here if this is good for you. Or drop it down. Plant the palms. Rest your leg on your elbows or one elbow. And float it up. Bring it on back to center. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale. Let's balance. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, the right arm under the left. Create eagle arms. Inhale, float your right knee up. Exhale, wrap the right leg on top. Create Garudasana, eagle pose. Sink low. Elbows high. Eyes focusing on one point. Breathe. Left hand to the waist, right hand to the knee, or the toe. Lift tall. Warrior three, smooth transition right out the back, parallel with the earth. Gaze down and try to square your hips. Drop your right side and see if that right foot can flex and get the toes to point down. into your right knee and plant your palms. You're going to do little handstand hops, or if you're great at handstands, go right up and hold for five breaths. Try to get your shoulders right over the wrists and not back here behind. And the arms are going to be stationary. Press into the hands, strong shoulders, connect the shoulders into the body, suck in the belly, and look somewhere out just in front of your mat. Inhale to hop, exhale to land. So you're going to do five of those. Just up with the inhale. Soft landing, try to make it silent. On your last one, jump it back into a soft chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Take a few breaths. Child's pose if you need. Step or jump forward, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, the left arm under. Take your eagle arms. Inhale, take that left foot up. Exhale, wrap it up for Garudasana. Balance. Slowly unwind, right hand to the waist. And left hand is going to extend out for the knee or the big toe. Pita Hasta. Try without touching down. Just swing it right back into a Virabhadrasana. Three. Third warrior. Use your back muscles to lift that chest and the back hamstring to lift that heel. Bend your right knee, plant your palms, and of course you can go to a wall if that helps you. And just kick up into a handstand if you're comfortable doing that. Otherwise, five hops. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale at your own pace. Fifth one takes you back. Up dog, down dog. 
and we'll jump to sitting. Stretch out the legs, lift the toes up, sitting bones grounded. Inhale, reach for your big toes, but just catch what you can. Exhale, fold. You might try to forget about your arms, the shoulders, the neck. Use your core here to fold. Really draw in your belly. Strong legs, activate your leg muscles, and use that to fold chest towards the knees, chin towards the shins. Inhale, lift the bum. Exhale, drop it down. Other side. Bend your left knee. Square your hips. Inhale, reach forward, but then release your arms. Exhale, fold. Draw the knees together. Swing it up to sitting. We'll take a vinyasa. As you inhale, step or jump right back. Exhale, lower into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come back to plank. Exhale, lower right down onto your stomach slowly. We're gonna do a couple back bends down here. We're gonna start nice and gently. So point the toes, relax the legs. Make sure the hands are nestled right in close to the base of your ribcage, the bottom. And really hug the elbows together, just some baby cobras. Inhale, use your back muscles to lift your heart, small and subtle. Exhale down. Inhale, 
Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale. Inhale. shoulders back, tuck the elbows tight together, and imagine dripping with your fingers a little bit, pull the chest forward and up more, and float the legs if you can, keeping the big toes close together. Three. Drop the tops of the feet, inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, float it back to plank, exhale, slowly all the way down. This time, stretch out your arms behind you with the palms facing each other. Go ahead and lift everything up. Chin, chest, arms, and legs. Stay here if you like. So bend your knees. Catch your ankles and turn it into bow pose. Dhanurasana. Pressing feet into hands, lifting legs and heart. Release the tops of the feet. Press the palms. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, child pose. Send your hips to your heels and just rest your head. Let the back get soft and long. Stretch it out. Come on up. We're going to do headstand. If you're not comfortable with headstand, you can do dolphin, or you could choose to do a shoulder stand or feet up the wall. Okay, or if you want to head to a wall to practice your headstand, go ahead and do that. Make sure the elbows are not wider than your shoulders. That's key to having sort of a nice stable base. So you want to wrap your fingers around outside to the elbows, clasp the fingers. And I personally like to put my hair lying on the ground, not the top of the head. But if you have longer arms and shorter neck, you could probably put the top of your head and still be okay. I have short arms and long neck, so I need to tip my head a little bit out of the way. So make sure it works for you. If you're just doing dolphin, simply here. Knees up, strong shoulders, look back. You're taking your sheer shasana. Try to lift slowly. See how much you can lift and how little you need to jump. So maybe it's one leg and then the other leg. Or I know some people go through bent legs, but try not to jump, okay? Breathe. Wherever you are, push into your elbows. Activate your shoulders, your core, your back, so the head stays nice and light. The neck should always feel really comfortable. Come down super slow, see if you can pike or one leg at a time, or bend the knees, instead of just dropping like a sack of potatoes. Keep your head down. Don't lift your head. Open your knees and take it to a wide child's pose. out in front or you can bind the arms behind your back and just bring the head down to the earth. Let everything start to settle and soften here. Slow 
slowly start to bring it back up. If you're in the forest like me, wipe all the pine needles off of your body. Just rest the palms on your legs, spine really tall and upright. Drop your right ear to the right shoulder, chin to the chest, left ear to left shoulder, back up to the center. Just do a couple circles, releasing any last little bits of tension that might be hanging out in your body. Go both directions. ready, go ahead and lay down on the back. Let's take our final rest, get some relaxation, at least a couple of minutes for the body and the mind and the heart and the spirit to absorb all of the work that we've done together today. Just spread your feet nice and wide. Make sure you're really comfortable and warm. If you need to put on clothes or have a drink of water and just rest the entire body. Let the palms face up. Close your eyes. Just send your body into a nice deep yogic sleep where it can do some deep healing. Relax the jaw. Make sure there's space between the top teeth and the bottom teeth. Relax your forehead and your eyebrows and soften your throat now. Let that breath go. Don't create any more heat right now. The breath should become quiet and easy and natural. You can just observe that rhythm to keep the mind calm and present as the body rests. Thank you so much for joining me in my magical forest. My dog, who happens to be hooked around a tree right now, I'm gonna go rescue him now. Thank you so much. Namaste.